Good evening, and welcome to The Observer. Today is Tuesday, April 24th, 1975, which is Armenian Genocide Day. As you may have guessed, today we'll be going over a somewhat forgotten topic, the Armenian Genocide. The Holocaust is considered by many of us to be the most brutal and efficient mass killing in modern history. Six million Jews, three million Catholics and non-Jewish Poles, three million Soviet prisoners of war, 300,000 Serbs, 250,000 people with disabilities, 200,000 Gypsies, and even thousands of homosexuals and Jehovah's Witnesses were all brutally murdered in this powerful and efficient killing machine. A genocide of this scale had never been seen before in history, nor has it been seen since. However, it would be ignorant to there having been other, albeit smaller, but similar genocides in the past. Now, of these genocides, one in particular has notable similarities to the Holocaust, the Armenian, Greek, and Assyrian Genocide, which is also simply called the Armenian Genocide. While other genocides can compare, such as the more recent Rwandan Genocide, none more similar to the Holocaust is the Armenian Genocide. Within this genocide, the Turks, believing the Christian minority to be a threat to their society, killed them in ways reminiscent of the Holocaust itself. Methods of execution included poisoning, shooting, drowning, death marches, and gassing, sometimes even within the gates of a Turkish concentration camp, then called the Deir Ezzor camps. Now according to document L3 of the Obers Osberg speech in the Nuremberg trials, Hitler even took inspiration from the Armenian Genocide, stating, quote, Who, after all, speaks today of the annihilation of the Armenians? End quote. Adolf Hitler, 1939. In this context, Hitler aimed to annihilate the Jews in a similar, secretive fashion to how the Turks annihilated the Armenians. Hitler's similar belief in the elimination of the Jewish ethno-religious minority, as well as other ethnicities and religious groups that oppose his rule, mirrors the belief of the Turks towards the larger Christian Armenian minority and the smaller Greek and Assyrian Christian minorities. All the methods and reasons for these killings are already strikingly similar enough. Even furthering the similarities is the fact that the actors in both of these genocides were in themselves very similar. The Nazis had the Gestapo and the SS, while the Turks had similar paramilitary groups such as the radical Young Turks. All of these groups, led by strong political leaders and far right-wing ideology, mercilessly killed innocent Jewish and Armenian civilians. Even the bystanders had some degree of similarity. German citizens, blinded by Nazi racial ideology, had no issue with the death of Jewish civilians. And Turkish Muslims had no issue with the killing of the Kafir, who were, in this case, Armenian, Greek, and Assyrian civilians. But that isn't to say that these genocides were identical, however. While Jewish populations were extremely oblivious and unprepared for the coming Holocaust, like the Weasel family at night, Armenian Christians had been getting the blunt end of the stick for centuries and were more often willing to fight back as seen in the Battle of Van. As well, the numbers were drastically different, with the Holocaust totaling 12 million dead and the Armenian Genocide totaling around 3.5 million dead. While the Armenian Genocide included unbeforeseen brutality, the Holocaust topped this, making the murder tactics of the Armenian Genocide, of which inspired them, somehow even more horrific. Regardless of this, the similar horror and criminality against mankind of the Armenian Genocide should not be forgotten, even in the shadow of the larger Holocaust that came only two short decades later. Now, Today, we'll be talking to a survivor of this horrible occurrence, Azad Pagopian, a former Armenian resident in Turkey and a victim, will be speaking. Good afternoon, Azad. Good afternoon. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you were born, where you grew up, etc. Well, I was born in 1900 in a small village outside of Van. We were a fairly poor family, so the war hit us pretty hard, and we stu stood no chance against the genocide. Tell us your story from the beginning. Well, I think it was sometime around April in 1915. The day had been going fairly normally. Father had gone out into the fields to work when armed Turkish soldiers came out to our house asking for my older brother. 
He too was working in the fields, but away from father. We were going to tell him that he was away in the town, but he came around the bend and saw the soldiers. They asked him to come with them and that they needed soldiers to fight in the war. Now, there had been rumors about what they did to Armenians that joined up, but we didn't think much of it at the time. They told us he'd be back, but we never saw him again. That's terrible. But what happened next? Father was furious, but we really couldn't do anything. Maybe that's why he was so angry, because we were so helpless. It was only a matter of time before more soldiers came. They said be, they'd be taking us away, off to refugee camps in the north. We were getting ready to go when gunfire started going off. Both the soldiers were killed by our neighbors. They told us that they were going to kill us all if we complied, which apparently happened in other villages. They told us to go to Van, and that more soldiers were coming. When we went there, there were bodies lying everywhere. It was really gruesome. That's terrible. Just awful! Yes, it really was. After that, I don't remember too much. Tens of thousands of other Armenians had poured into Van, running from Turkish and Kurdish murderers. There were battles, and the Russians were supposedly coming. When they did arrive, me and my siblings were one of 40,000 to escape. 55,000 perished, including my brother, mother, and father. That's terribly tragic. I'm sorry to hear it. Well, we can't fix it, but we can remember what happened so that nothing like it may ever happen again. So that brings me to the question. What did you think of the Holocaust when you found out about it? I was disgusted. How could we repeat such a terrible thing? It was scary enough how similar it was already. We were killed simply because we were Christians, and they were killed because they were Jewish. If our story wasn't terrible enough, millions more of them died than us, even more brutally. I can't believe how terrible we could be to each other. Did you know Hitler and the SS were largely inspired by the Armenian genocide to carry out the Holocaust and lesbian drama? No, I didn't, but I'd be lying if I said I was surprised. Well, I think we're about out of time. Thank you for visiting us, Azat. Thank you for having me.